mates it is an absolute pleasure to have you once again on my channel if this is your first time checking out my channel please consider subscribing because on this channel i teach you how to do simple diy fashion right there in the comfort of your home and you do not want to miss out on any of it today i'll be showing you how to make a three-layered flare skirt now this flare skirt i'll be making it using the half circle method you can use this making the full circle but because i the amount of fabric that i have i will have to use the half circle method so i'm going to show you how to achieve this skirt so if you look at the plan you see that this skirt will have three different layers so i want my skirt length to be um 26 inches and i want a band on my skirt which is 20 which is two inches so in order to know what the length is that I'm going to cut initially, I have to subtract the length of the skirt from the height of the band. And that will give me 24 inches. So now let us look at the tears. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to get calculate the measurement of the each flare. So this will have three tears on it. So the first thing you'll have to ask yourself if you want your tears to be evenly distributed. So you can make your tears evenly distributed or you can have different lengths for each flare, which is what I'm going to do. So for my third tier, which is the tier that is going to be at the bottom, I have my waist measurement here. My waist is 35 inches. And I added one inch to that for zipper allowance. That will give me 36 inches. So in order to find the radius of this skirt, in order to cut it, I will have to divide my waist measurement, which is my new waist measurement now, my 35 inches to one inch, which is 36 inches. And I'm gonna divide it by 3.14. I did that because it's a half circus skirt, half of 6.28. So 6.28 represents the full circle. But because this is half of it, I divided 6.28 by, by um, 2 and I get 3.14. If you want a full circle, then you will use 6.28. But since I need a half circle, I'm using 3.14. So now I divide 36 by 3.14 and I'm going to get 11.45 and I estimated that to 11.5 inches. So the length of my third tier is going to be the actual length of this new skirt that I have here, which is 24 inches. Remember that my length is going to be 26 inches, but because I took away 2 inches for the band, I'm going to have 24 inches. So I'm going to add that 24 inches plus 11.5 inches, which is my new radius. My, that's, that's my radius measurement. I'm going to get 36.5 inches, and I'm going to add one inch for seam allowance to fold the edge of the skirt and also to join it to the waistband. So in all, I'm going to have um, 36 inches on fold of fabric right here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you how to cut the, the third tier. Then I go to the second tier, show you how to cut the second tier. And then I go to the first tier and show you how to do the, um, the first tier. So I'm going to show you now how to cut the length of the third tier. Okay. So now to cut the third tier, I have the fabric here. I have the fabric here. So this is the fabric that I'm going to use. And what you want to do, remember this is unfold. You, you're going to fold your fabric. So what you're going to have is that on this side, so, so this is my fabric and it is unfold, okay? So on this side of the fabric, you're supposed to have 36 inches on fold. So if I should check this, so if I should check this, this is going to be 
36 inches see 36 inches unfold also you should ensure that the folded edge which is this part you have in um, 36 inches also so ensure that on this part you have 36 inches so what you're going to do so this is my fabric okay and if you notice on this edge right here I have my 36 inches unfold okay ensure that it's unfold and also on this edge you want to ensure that it's unfold also what you're going to do you're going to take this end and you're going to fold it to form a triangle on the other side okay so this is what you're supposed to have so now what you're going to do is that you're going to take your 36 inches all the way around so 36 is here Okay. And there you have it so what you're going to do now after you take your 36 from the top you're going to connect these dots connect all those dots mine is sort of sorry crooked and then you're going to cut it off to make it easier for you okay okay so now when you cut it off now you're going to take your radius so my radius is 11.5 So I'm going to take 11.5 here all the way around connect those lines this is kind of a silky material so it's um shifts a lot but it's okay you're, if you're doing it with like cotton it's gonna stay down but it's fine okay so i have 11.5 but you should know that if you should cut this 11.5 off you're going to your skirt is going to be too big so you have to go up half an inch to sew it to the waistband right so you have to go up half an inch for the seam allowance to join it okay so that's what i'm doing now so i'm gonna connect those points so this now is the new waist line and i'm gonna cut this off So guys, this is the third tier. This is what your third tier. So this is what your third tier will look like. So now I'm gonna show you how to get the second tier. So I'm gonna put this aside. Let's look at the second tier. So for the second tier, we're going to use the same radius, which is 11.5 inches. But then I want the second length to be 16 inches. So 11.5 plus 16 inches is going to give me 27.5 inches plus one more inch to, um, for sewing allowance, which is 28.5 inches. I hope you understand that. And remember that this is going to be unfold. 
Okay, guys. So, let's check if this will be enough. So, I need unfold. Remember, it's unfold. See? It's unfold here. Okay. And I need 28 inches at least on a fold. So, let's check to see if we have that. And yes, we do. We have 29 inches. So now what you're going to do, ensure that you have enough on this side also. You're going to take it and you're going to fold it over in a triangle like this. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing. You can even place the other one on this one to get the radius and cut it out. But because I want us to practice, I'm going to show you again how to cut this out. So, here I'm going to have, take my 28 inches, 28 and a half inches, all the way around. Okay? And I'm gonna cut that off just to make it easy for me and all this fabric. And here I'm going to take the radius, okay? Sure that you have a perfect triangle there. You don't want to make mess up anything. So I'm going to take my radius. So since my radius is 11 inches, you can just sub, it's 11 and a half inches. You could just subtract your half an inch from it and just make it 11 and just cut it off. Instead of going again and taking off that half an inch for the waistband. So instead of 11 inches, I'm going to make, instead of 11 and a half inches, I'm gonna make it 11 inches just because of the waistband. Okay, so 11 inches, so this is it. So at the end of the day, it still work out the same as the other one. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to cut this off, okay? And this is the second tear. Now, for the first stair, the first stair is going to have the first, the radius, which is 11.5 inches. Then, I'm going to add 8 inches for the length of the first stair. And then, that would be, um, when you add those together, it would be 19.5 inches plus one more inch for sewing allowance, which is 20.5 inches. And you're going to cut that on fold. So unfold, you need 20 and a half inches. This is gonna be more than enough. Let's check, more than 20 and a half inches. Yeah, yeah, you have it. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna fold it over. Okay. More than enough for me. Oh, me. So now we're gonna have our 20 and a half inches. gonna cut this out remember to join ears join the I'm gonna 
have my 11 inches okay remember we said that we took off the half an inch for the joining so we're gonna have 11 inches okay And this, my friends, is the first tear. So let's just put everything together and let's see how it looks. So this one is my first tear. Okay. This is what it looks like. This one is my second tear. notice they match perfectly that's what you're supposed to have and this one here is your third tier okay so when you're sewing it you're going to attach all these tiers together okay so made so we're going we're gonna sew up our skirt and what I went ahead and I did is that I put all three um, tiers on top of each other so this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one and how you want to place it you want to place wrong um, the wrong side of the top one on the right side of the bottom one okay and I put everything together and I just base them down together so that's what I did I also went ahead and I surged the tail of my skirt now you can go ahead and use facing um lining for your skirt it's just that it's gonna take a lot of lining and i don't have that much right now so what i'm going to do i'm just going to turn the tail of my skirt so that's what i'm gonna do now so for each of my skirt i'm gonna take it and i'm going to fold it under once and run a stitch so that's what I'm gonna do now I also went ahead and I prepared my my zipper for this skirt and I also went ahead and I fused my waistband so to get the how much waistband you need so we said we needed two inches right so it means then that I'm unfold I'm going to have um, two and a half inches high okay so when I take the half an inch in, I'm going to be left with two inch waistband. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to hem each of the tears. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I surged the hem of the skirt like this. All it needs is a good press. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to surge the back of my skirt, skirt take off the selvage and I'm gonna surge it all the way down. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I surged it. This is what it looks like. See how nice it looks. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to attach the waistband. Okay, so I'm going to attach the waistband. Okay guys, so I've attached the waistband. This is what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to attach my zipper.
Okay, so much. I just want to come in and show you something. So when you attach your your flares together, when you attach a zippo, you're supposed to have the seams like this. And you're supposed to have them matching like this. They must be the same thing. So you have to ensure that you get them right, okay? If you take your measurements correct, you will get them correct, okay? So I'm going to take this baby home. Um, I'm just going to finish up the zipper at the back. Okay guys, so it's the same thing for the hem of your skirt and for the second tier. If you see, if you notice, my seams are at the same place. This is the second tier and this is the final tier. You see that? Perfect. So now I'm just going to finish this up. I'm going to zip my zipper down and I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it over like this. And I'm going to stitch it so that it stays down. The band stays down. After, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over and stitch in the ditch all the way around to secure my waistband. I'm going to do that now. Okay guys, so before you turn your waistband, you need to cut away the excess so that it's not bulky. So you're gonna just snip this right here. Not the thread now. Gonna snip it away so that it's not too bulky when you turn it, okay? So you have a nice turning. Also for this one. So when you turn it, like this, you won't have this amount of bulkiness there, okay? okay so made so this is the result of the skirt that we we just made right obviously it's gonna it needs a very good pressing a very very good pressing maybe a good steam iron to steam it down this is what the waistband looks like see how neat that is how beautiful that is and this is how it looks inside it needs to be trimmed this is what it looks like on the outside so if you find the video helpful, do not forget to give me a giant thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video. Until we meet again, I will see you in my next one. Bye! Bye.